All right, let's get started. Welcome everyone on the second second track in the session room one in the Saturday of DEFCOM CZ. Uh, the track is Future Tech and Open Resort, uh, Research. There will be three talks. And our first speaker is Priscilla Gutierrez, who is an uh, associate quality engineer with, with Red Hat, while being at the same time researcher in Department of Computer Science, Applied Mathematics, and University of Sao Paulo. And the topic of our talk is uh, game engines in research and embedded systems. Uh, floor is yours, Priscilla. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, everyone. And in this talk, I'm going to discuss how open source, source solutions can improve the public health system with low cost and using games and Arduino. And I'm going to make a disclaimer. I, I am a very shy person, and I'm here to share some ideas with you and learn how to speak in public. So sometimes I, I, I may have to stop and take a breath of air and then proceed. And so here is the content of the presentation. And I'm going to start, uh, to start this talk telling you uh, how I have entered this world. And yeah. oh, 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 oh. And I love classic music, and everyone who likes this kind of music knows João Carlos Martins, who is an amazing pianist, and then he became a stone maestro. So, unfortunately, he, he, he lost his hand movements, and for decades he was not able to play a single key in the piano anymore. Two years ago, a guy named Ubiratan Kosa created a simple but a powerful globe to allow him to play a piano again. And there are several videos and it's impressive how he can use his hand again to play bar. And this impressed me so much. And the device he, he uh, Ubiratan uh, built uh, was simple in construction, but was powerful to uh, to uh, give him, giving to the maestro life once again. And I, I started thinking how I can do something like this by my own. And then I found uh, Professor Toledo and he introduced me to open research. So what is open research? And when you do open research, we conduct, uh, we, we want to, uh, do our research and this in the free uh, in the open source uh, spirit, spirit and we um we we want to um we want to make clear and full available the all the method methodology and the data and all the things we are doing during the research process and if we have a final product, uh, it will be published using an open source license. And if possible, but it's good to have online uh, uh, collaboration, but it sometimes is not possible to do this. And this is unfortunately my case. Uh, so um, I, 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 was uh, I was very ambitious and I started half uh, thinking how good would be if my efforts could at least have a little impact in the society and and then i, I found a, a, a project uh, and professor toledo and uh, one of his students uh, was doing um, a device uh, he was uh, using an arduino and in, in games and uh, Mateus, who, who was the student, uh, concluded the first part of the project, and I'm going uh, and I'm working uh, from now on and on his device and the, and collecting data, and doing all the analysis. So, first, I want to uh, to tell you what is uh, SUS. Uh, SUS is a universal uh, healthcare system supported by public resource and it's available for all the people here in brazil and it, it has been crucial during the pandemic to ensure a response against 
corona, the coronavirus, and it provides healthcare and vaccines for all the people here without cost. So I want to work on, I think this is something uh, significant for me. And I want to work uh, with open hardware uh, to improve the treatment in, in SUS. And how, what do we have to take in, into account when doing this? We have to take into account the cost impact. And uh, we are, we're, most of the time is we want to treat and neglect neglected disease and we want to improve the quality of the public health services itself and we want to uh, construct something that can be used by anyone anywhere here in our country so we have to build a device which is capable to work to to be very simple to to make so, um, try to create a device to using things like virtual reality. Uh, 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 it's not a, a new thing. The new thing is to is is to create. Um, the new thing is 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 to try to create. Uh, is, is try to create um, something new and uh, with a low cost to be available to, for all the people because high cost devices are widely available and 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 this is, uh, we want to to uh, to make sure that every every person has, has access to to this here in our country. There are some known studies in this field uh, since um, I, I have I selected these three studies to show to you, and this is is uh, this is uh, a new uh, study we are doing. So uh, we are first of all we have to uh, define our metrics. So. What do you, you want to, to measure? If the people uh, has a complete independence or if, the peop if, uh, if, if someone is, uh, needs full health uh, assistance. And, and using, using this, um, So, uh, use, 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 so we uh, using this this concept, we we are going to create our device. So why you we are you are we using an Arduino? Uh, we uh, like this. We in this device we we have built. I have here uh, one of the prototypes. We are using an inertial device, a Bluetooth model, and we are not using a connected device or an ordinary camera. And this is an interesting question to ask because we are working with patients with a minimum of uh, uh, movement. They cannot even move like this. It, 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 they do a, a very small movement sometimes, you, you it cannot even see it. So it, we, this is why we choose this un embedded system to do our research. Um, the, and it will connect it, the device to a cell phone and then to the virtual reality device. So this is the, uh, the this is the um, hardware we are using we are building. Uh, Mateus did most of this of this uh, hardware. He he work. This is one of his prototypes. Here we have the battery, and here we have the Arduino. So so then we have to have an interface to the user interact with the environment which will be in the smartphone 
uh, we created a simple puzzle using Unit, uh, and it will run on a basic smartphone because here in Brazil we don't have uh, so much money to spend with uh, uh, with hardware, and we we use local smartphones like this, and then we we are going to track the movements, and here you see some uh, so, uh you, you see a picture of the some uh, volunteers a volunteer it, it took those pieces to the puzzle and completed it so so it, here are some metrics we have developed and to know uh, how how uh, uh, to know if the voters pet is the idea or is 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 not good and and the and the voter have to uh, have so much difficult and the voter has so much difficult with uh, the movement uh, to grab uh, those pieces and then we we are uh, we do some analysis an analysis of the movement so the our project is still under the development we have to improve this device we are still working on it but i'm i'm dealing mostly with the data not with the device itself professor toledo has a large group to work on this we has we have to finish the usability test because we follow a very strict protocol and then with two or three years start the clinical test and th this i think it will be very good for other people who and uh, we, we have uh, uh, some uh, some uh, results showing that this kind of uh, device can can really improve the treatment so and as I said to you, the COVID-19, we are still improving and working in the usability test, uh, unfortunately. And this is not the end uh, of the research, it's just the beginning. And I want to share to you how cool uh, things like this are. And we, are, we as engineers can do amazing things with our knowledge. Oh, okay. I, 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 so the user will have a screen like like that without this these vectors. It, it, it will the hand will represent the hand, the hand he is mo moving with the device, and he will grab the pieces and put into the puzzle to, to complete the puzzle. Did you understand what? I, do you understand what I'm trying to say? or are not clear so this is what i wanted to show to you and i, I i'm sorry for 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 this bad presentation I, I i'm here as i said to learn how to to to, to speak in public and that's all <laughs> this is was uh, this is the reference i uh, i i I, I, I'm using for my work, and that's all. All right. Thank you, Priscilla. That was uh, an awesome presentation. Thanks a lot. Um, so yeah. Do we have any questions? Well, not like the chat says, like no need to apologize. The talk was actually pretty good. So let's uh, let's give people to uh, opportunity to, to perhaps write some some qu uh, questions either in the chat or in the Q and A section. So my, 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 my question would be, so how, how long are the like sessions uh, that, that the people need to wear this variable and, and do puzzles with them? Are they like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, or, or are they longer? I'm not sure if, well, if I'm... If I have audio problems right now again, you don't. Uh, I can hear. Okay. Priscilla, can can you hear us right now? Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll try to repeat my question. Maybe, maybe it wasn't coming through. So I'm, I was, I was curious about like how how long are the sessions with the with the users who are wearing the the wearable and doing the puzzles? Are they are they doing it for one minute or or, or ten minutes or something like that? No, no, more than three hours. Okay. Uh, sometimes the entire day. It depends on the pa patient because some patients has uh, very uh, uh, the, uh, they some patients do, do, don't have uh, m much movements okay so so ideally it would be like small and very lightweight right um um, um uh, uh, people without uh, any restriction would uh, do this this puzzle in three minutes but it depends on the patient they they, they um, unfortunately when you suffer a stroke you lose all, all most of your movements I see yeah we have a question in the chat like what type of sensors does the device use uh, do you have an accelerometer on it uh, what is the battery life Yes, we have a um, magnetometer and accelerometer and we have a, a gyroscope and we have a normal battery. It's connected to the Arduino. Uh, how, 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 long is, uh, how long does the battery uh, last? Um, a bunch of sessions. Okay. A bunch of sessions. So some of them are more than hours. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty impressive. All right. Seems like we have no other no other questions. Uh, Priscilla, are you going to spend some time in the? in the work adventure thing that we are running for DEF CON for people maybe to reach out to you with other questions. Okay, okay, I'm going. Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Priscilla, for your talk. Thank you everyone for attending.